Today we're gonna take a look at some of the best Blender add-ons that came out recently. These add-ons will range from rigging, materials and texturing, particle simulation, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with lazy materials. This add-on was tailored and made for lazy artists. I mean anyone who doesn't want to spend unnecessary time on creating materials and stuff. The add-on is really simple. It offers a huge library of high quality and fully procedural materials with over 320 fully customizable materials in addition to 100 plus PBR materials as well as 14 geometry nodes for different purposes like bridges, chins, books and so on. Basically it attempts to save you some time and effort by allowing you to focus on the creative aspect of your work like many similar add-ons of this category that you can check from the description down below. So whether you are a beginner or an advanced artist, it is always a good idea to have some materials that you can use to save some time. The next add-on, I wish I had known about it before. It is a great add-on that can save you a ton of time when adjusting skin weight and transferring weight from one mesh to another when rigging a model inside the blender. In a short period of time, this little guy can easily attach and detach any object to your character. And it can even attach and detach multiple objects at the same time. Weight painting isn't really a simple task. And this add-on can help you achieve results that might need hours to manually do yourself. And on top of that, it is free. So you have no reason not to use it, especially if you use Blender for rigging. You can think of it as an automatic weight painting tool in Blender but it is much better and much versatile. I'm not a character animator myself, but I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be useful for animators, game developers, and even VFX artists. And talking about game developers and VFX artists, the next one is really interesting. Sprite Particles allows you to create a long list of sprite-based visual effects, and this technique has been, and it is still being used till this day in the game development industry. So, leveraging the power of geometry nodes, from what I can see this add-on allows you to create all sorts of particle effects, like splashes, bonfires, smoke, and steam, in addition to many many other things. The benefit of using this approach is that it is not resource intensive. If you're trying to achieve the same result with traditional simulation, that would take a lot of time, and even more horsepower. However, this sprite approach can achieve a major results in a fraction of the time. The feedback is basically in real time, and you can adjust and tweak effects instantly, which is just impressive. Now back to rigging again, Rig UI Pro is a handy add-on when rigging, with a ton of features that can help you organize bone collections and their versatility in a very readable and easy manner. But this is not everything. The add-on allows you to control bookmarks, special actions, custom properties, armature extras, and even specific panels for different popular armatures like Auto Rig Pro and Rigify add-ons. As you know, sometimes when rigging, actually more often than not, you feel like your character or whatever gets cluttered with all the controllers layered on top of each other. And sometimes, you just want to isolate only the ones that you are working on, especially when using Rigify or mix some rigs. The add-on is great at keeping track of all the joint bones, creating bookmark presets, and even controlling bone properties in somewhat a simple fashion. And I'm sure this is gonna be great for animators and game developers out there. We also have this wrapper add-on that helps you wrap stuff in the software. The add-on allows you to generate physics-based and very accurate wrap geometry in a short few clicks. And it has a lot of options. But its main function is to encase any object you have with a plastic or any other wrap. The simulation begins when you click Generate Wrap, resulting in a cage object. You can adjust pressure and voxel size, which will affect the quality and the level at which the material will shrink. After that, you can hit play on the timeline, and once you are happy with the result, you can hit bake, and your object will be ready. Easy and simple. Now, it is true that you can do this in Blender itself, but this is just a cleaner way to do it. The add-on has a simple interface, and it can do this task really well. Some of you guys might need this function on a regular basis, 
So I think you can find this add-on useful. Who knows? So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.